Music Access. I've been trying to lose weight for some time now, but I haven't lost any weight. It's too hard. I started dieting, but I can't help myself when I see food in front of me. Oh my god. I need to lose weight, but there's so many things I want to eat. Did you hear that? Those were my inner selves shouting inside. But I guess it was loud enough for y'all to hear. I need to tell them to be quieter. You guys are shouting the same thing too? Why is dieting so hard and why is it so hard to see any results? Why is it? Well, a recent study shows why it's been so hard for us to succeed with our diet. The study says that pictures of food exposed on SNS and the whole cooking variety show craze on TV has been prompting people to eat and causing a negative effect on us trying to curb our appetites. No wonder, every time I turn on the TV or log on to SNS, I just want to go grab a snack. But, you can't stay away from your TV or smartphone or computer forever, so what about this? For the next two hours, let's put them all away and just focus on this. What? You guys know what I'm talking about. The radio. I hear that show on the radio that uh, that one really awesome dude, Benji, hosts is a lot of fun. So uh, what about we find out uh, how much fun it really is today, shall we? Hmm. I could have been for breakfast. The first song you heard today, Tuesday, October 20th, 2015, was Poison by Rita Ora. What's up, Music Access fam? So the study result about SNS and TV cooking variety shows having a negative effect on diets was done by a team led by Charles Spence at Oxford University in England. Do you think it makes sense? Well, of course, you know, I think when it comes to, you know, publicity, nothing is better than SNS these days. You know, people are going viral based on videos and photos that have been posted on these websites. And especially one of the things that I think is especially important is the fact that uh, when it comes to these kinds of um, being affected by these things, the fact that it's everywhere is making it that much more of a temptation. And I'm sure that the seduction of those kind of materials, those food things, is definitely, definitely a real thing. So for us, if we're trying to resist it, first of all, I think we got to get, it, get rid of all of our essence. No, I'm just kidding. That's an extreme thing. But, you know, you just kind of kind of fight it. The more you fight it, I think the more you'll kind of get used to it. Eventually, to the point, you just kind of, uh, you know... You just kind of get used to it. So, uh, need I say more? Why don't we put away our TV and SNS and listen to the radio? Dance along to the music and burn some calories. I mean, if we're going to start our diet, what's a better time to start now? And if we succeed, we'll have a good time partying. Might as well. Okay, so you guys know there have been some changes here at Music Access starting yesterday, right? For the first hour, Benji Sins will become even more brilliant with your love and participation. All About Music with Season 2, Benji Style will still be in the first hour, but we have a new corner instead of Time Traveler's Mailbox. It's called Me You. Just like the title, it's about me and you. You can tell me about you and the people around you. Just write Me You on the title and leave your message on our message board. And and in the second hour, a corner to select music to fit a certain theme or situation. Men in Music will have Sam joining me in the studio for that in just a bit. Before that, here's how you can listen and participate. Uh, if you have a smartphone, you can download the Adirang Radio app or TuneIn Radio app to listen to our programs and send in your messages. And if you use a computer, just visit www.adirangradio.com slash music access to listen to us or leave your messages. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Chechu Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Chechu City, 88.1 for Sokipo, and 101.9 for Tejong. And remember, if you have any songs you want to hear today or songs you want to let someone hear as a gift, send those requests up onto our message board under the title, Request. Now we'll come right back after a song for message time. And the song we're going to listen to is Wake Up by The Vamps. So wake up. We 
just heard the song Wake Up by the Vamps, and it's time for Message Time. And our first message comes from Maud from Thailand saying, Hey Benji, happy Tuesday. Hope you have a great day and a good trip to Beijing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we are gonna go at some point, but hopefully uh, we will have fun there as well. We also have Richie Menelastis checking in saying, Hi Benji, I was watching After School Club a moment ago. I miss seeing you and the rest of B.I.G. there. I hope to see you guys there when you make your comeback. Hopefully, actually, uh, for us as well, we want to uh, go on After School Club. You know, After School Club is a great program. I guested there a couple times, and it's super, super fun. And, uh, you know, Eric and Jimin and Kevin, they all, you know, do an awesome job there. So hopefully when we do come back, if we get a chance, we'll stop by the after school club if they let us on. And if not, well, no, they, I, hopefully they will. Why, why say if not? They probably will. Hopefully. I guess so. Maybe. I don't know. And we have Leon Tio saying, hi, Benji. I'm still listening to radio. So I guess you're checking in, Leon, although you said it's been a while since you read my message. Sometimes I really have no idea what to send. Anyway, my question for you is regarding your photo SNS. Are you getting addicted to it? It looks like you're posting more and more photos. Do you have a favorite angle when you take selfies? For example, do you prefer your right side or left side of your face? Um, when I take a selfie, usually I just kind of take it above or below. But uh, depending on, you know, what clothes I'm wearing and all that stuff. It really kind of depends. There's not like a fixed angle that I wear or a fixed angle that I'm focused on. It's very, very free. Um, but the most important thing is when it comes to a selfie, the expression. Either it has to be really good or really bad. One of the two. And usually for me, I pick um, very, very interesting faces. Not really maybe handsome faces, but uh, you know, just focused on the kind of, uh, you know, just good, chill faces so uh you know i don't have a favorite angle for a selfie but if you were gonna take a selfie and you need some advice i'd recommend taking a selfie app some of these selfie apps are impressive and uh they work very very well so maybe if you want to check it out go check it out there's one that has a uh, 612 so check it out and we have shreya talukter from bangladesh saying benji benji in the opening you were talking about food and it's funny because I'm actually eating a burger right now. And yeah, for two hours, I'm going to be eating that sitting here. And I'm not going anywhere because MA is always fun because of the super, super, super awesome DJ Benji. P.S. Benji, I like your shirt. It suits you very well. You're looking manly today. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what what shirt is this? This is just like a camo shirt. Um, Just a chill, you know chill look for today although you know it's surprisingly hot in the studio right now i don't know why but it's surprisingly hot so uh yeah hopefully i don't sweat out too much and don't make the studio smell before sam gets here but in any case um yeah hopefully we'll have an awesome time and it'll be super super good all right so we're gonna continue on thank you everyone for sending in your messages to message time and now we're gonna check out a song before we go to our miu corner and we're going to listen to the song Wings by Little Mix. Time with me and you, stories between me and you, me, you. We always want to hear from you on Music Access, and we want to hear from you about what kind of person you are, what you like, what you think about, and how you spend your day. We also want to know about your family, friends, co-workers, and the people around you. And we want to know and learn about how you know them, what kind of memories you might have, and what you do with them. 
My new daily corner, Me You, is all about that. Stories about me that I want to tell DJ Benji. Stories about the people around me that I want to tell our MA fam. Stories about my day, my family, and my friends. And we'll share those stories about me, you, and everyone around us on Me You. So how can you, how can you participate on Me You? You can visit our website, www.adirangradio.com slash music access and write Me You on your message title. Or download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and use the comment function to write MiYu on your title and leave us your message that way. Either way, mobile or via a computer, we accept everything. Even snail mail. Actually, no, we don't accept snail mail. Alright, so we'll start with today's MiYu. And our first MiYu message is from Leon Tio from Singapore. Saying, hi, Benji Hyung. I do know what to send, so I'll just send in a check-in message. Listening to you cheers up my mood always, and I'm not feeling too good recently because I quarreled with my mom. Do you fight with your mom or dad? Or what do you fight about and what do you do after you fight? It's the first time I'm writing in for this new corner, but I'm sad I'm writing about fighting with my mom. I hope I can make up with her soon, and once I do, I'll write again about my mom and me. Um, I think... Well, you asked, and I think, you know, everyone fights with their parents. That's a natural part of life that happens. And especially when it comes to fights with parents, it's because we always understand that they want the best for us. You know, we understand that um, subconsciously, but at the same time, on a conscious level, what really kind of gets to us is, you know, sometimes what they're kind of, you know, picking on is something that could be exactly right. You know, it could be something that we do need to work on or something that, needs a little bit of improvement and it just hits us personally to the point where it finds it's it's we need to accept it but it's kind of hard to and so i think um you know when it comes to i haven't really followed my parents in a while because i haven't seen them in a while which is kind of sad but uh when it comes to those situations i think one of the most important things is to make up well you know tell them me like yeah i know you know i'm i'm trying to do the best i can but I just need a little bit of time, you know, I understand that you're worried, I understand, but, you know, I'll do better, so don't worry, or, you know, let me, and if it's about, like, getting something or fighting about going somewhere, you know, at least maybe discuss it, and I think another, the civil manner is the best manner, you know, calmly, and in the end, you know, if no is no, then no is no, I think, you know, at this point, it's not really worth trying to overcome the ultimate uh, kind of results, so, uh, at the, you know, just kind of be like, you know, okay, I get it, I get it, maybe next time, and the next time, you know, you work it out then, so hopefully things work out, let me know how things go, and now we're gonna check out a song before we come back to another message for me, you, and we're gonna listen to the song that Tony of Italy requested, No Good and Goodbye by Jewel. And actually, nope, we're not going to play that song because you actually requested the script. So, and we actually sent out Jewel. Sorry about that, Tony. So instead, we're going to play No Good and Goodbye by the script, which is the song that she requested, not by Jewel, who is also a good singer way back when. Um, she was very, uh, very good singer. But uh, no, you recommend. Also, the script has a good song called Break Even. But anywho, we're going to play the song No Good and Goodbye by the script and be right back. We just heard No Good and Goodbye by the script and it's time to come back with another message for me, you. Our second me, you message comes from Emily Yang from the USA saying, Hey Benji Opa, how's it going? Me? I'm fine. I just had an awesome week last week. There were these two guys that I had a chat with and had made my day during the week. I was so happy. I had never been that happy before when I messaged them, and I just wanted to do a shout out to those people. Also, if you're asking who it is, I can't answer that. It's a secret, but I can tell you that NMA fan here knows who I'm talking about. Hmm. Anyways, have a nice day. Don't skip your meals. Love you, Benji Opa. The one and only Emmy, which is the pronunciation slash the nickname. So... It's, 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 I don't know what to really talk about. You had a chat with two guys, and they made your day. Although, based on the fact that these two guys chatted with you, I'm assuming these guys may or may not be idols. I'm not 100% sure. They may not be idols, they may be artists, or they might be these boys that you like. But, um, however it works, I guess if you're happy talking to these guys, I guess I hope you have more conversations with them. Yes, good luck with those conversations, 
and let me know if you have more conversations and who they are. Let me know who they are. I'm curious. All right, so thanks for your message, and I hope you'll send more messages to us for our Me You Corner. Remember, if you want to send a message, you can visit us at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us a message or download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and use the common function to write Miu on your title and leave us a message that way. Now we'll come right back after a song for All About Music with Season 2, Benji Style, and we're going to check out the song that Unita of Indonesia wants to hear, Lose My Breath by Destiny's Child. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. (laughs) Music quiz and Benji come together to make this corner more complete. All about music with season two. It's Benji style. So what is today's double A music quiz answer? Let me check it out first. <laughs> okay, so today's answer is a group, and today's answer is a group that comes from the same label as some of the biggest stars these days, like K. Will, Sister, Junkie Go, Mad Clown, Chu Young, Usungu Boyfriend. It's Starship Entertainment. Uh, they're the youngest group under the label, but their group name isn't at all cute in comparison to their being the Mangne. You get a feeling for who this group is. So the first thing is going to be Benji's hint, and it's going to be kind of varied today. It's a song slash alphabet hint. So uh, let me help you think of a word and an alphabet, and then try to guess what the answer is. So there's a big bag song that goes like this. I love you, baby, I'm not a wing. Baby, I love you, baby, I'm not a blank. So what goes in the blank? Take that blank word, then add this alphabet letter to the word. I'm going to sing the alphabet, but I'm going to uh, take out one letter. So take the word, that's the blank, then add this letter of the alphabet to it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, Y, and Z. So you take that letter, and you take the word, and you put them together. Did you catch the alphabet letter I missed? I'll do it again a little faster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, V, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, Blank space where it sounds like extra Y and Z. Alright, so the alphabet that I missed plus the word that goes into the blank for that Big Bang song is today's answer. In the order of the Big Bang song word, then the alphabet letter. So if you know today's answer, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. We'll listen to a song and come back with another hint for Double A Music Quiz. We're going to check out the song that Dana of Guyana requested. Congratulations by Day 6. just heard congratulations by day six and it's time to continue on with all about music with season two benji style today's answer is a group and our second hint is a music hint let's dive right in can we get the music please So if you know today's answer, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. We're looking for the group that sings this song. If you know the answer, you can also send it in using the common function on your Audi Down Radio or TuneIn Radio smartphone app. 
comment function or go to our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave your answer on our message board. For both, don't forget to write answer on your title before you send your message. Now we're going to check out the song that Unita of Indonesia requested, Sweet Dream by Changmara. It's gonna be We just heard Sweet Dream by Changnara, and it's time for message time. And our first message comes from Nadisha Jayasurya from Sri Lanka saying, Hello DJ Benji, love from Sri Lanka. I'm Nadisha from Sri Lanka. Opa chal jina sayo, yam good. I'm loving the show as always. It's so fun to listen to you. And please dedicate a song to my triplet brother and sister with the message that I love them so much. I love being a triplet. Sarangyo. So we'll do a triplet freestyle. I was born an only child, but if I had a brother sister, then I'd be a set of three, like a triplet. Yeah, swag. And uh, pass on to Disha, loves y'all so much, so uh, have a good day and eat some good food. Camille from New Zealand saying, good day Benji, how's your day going? As for me, my day is going well, just a bit sick, but today I went to my second driving lesson. I was still kind of nervous even though I've been practicing a lot. How old were you when you learned how to drive? Uh, let's see, when I learned how to drive, I was like 17 I think, because I learned a little late because I didn't have a reason to drive at the time. But then, you know, once you learn, you kind of never forget. You just kind of keep on driving and driving and driving, and then you just kind of get used to it all the time. So I'd say, you know... Just uh, keep doing it, and eventually you'll get the hang of it perfectly. And we have Pamed from Mexico saying, Hi Benji, how are you? I have a question. What's the most important thing for you which you couldn't live without? For me, it would be music. I can't imagine a day without listening to music. Greetings from Mexico. You know what it is for me? Um, I honestly, if we're really going about what's the most important thing for me, which I can't live without... It's food and water. Because if I don't eat and I don't drink, I'm going to die. And then after that, I'd have to say it's transportation. Because without transportation, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Which means I wouldn't be able to do schedules. But assuming I have all the basic necessities, you know what I really need? All I need is Sam. If Sam comes into the studio and we have a good corner, I think that'll make my day today. So... That's what we'll say and be very mushy about it. Alright, so we're going to continue on with the song. We're going to check out the song that K Star from Canada requested Nunbushin Kobek by Song Shi Gyeong. We just heard Nunbushin Kobek by Song Shi Gyeong, and it's time to wrap up our first hour. In the second hour, we'll be back with Sam for Men in Music. So, to wrap things up for our first hour, I'm going to let you hear the song Shadow of the Day by Linkin Park, and be right back. But before that, of course, I got to make sure that we have our going on.
What's up, what's up, Music Access with me, Benji of B.I.G. And on the second hour of Music Access for today, we have music, we have stories, and we have Sam. Our Tuesday corner, Men and Music, is coming up right away, so don't go away. Now here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone, and you can also send us messages using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board another way you can tune in is through terrestrial dmb but this is only available for our listeners living on chechu island the frequencies are 88.7 for chechu city 88.1 for Saguipo and 101.9 for Tejong. Now we're going to listen to a song and be back with Sam to start off our Tuesday corner, Men and Music. And we're going to check out the song Leon Teo of Singapore requested, Obliviate by Big Flow. Guys are here right now. Two cool guys will show up their acting chops right now. But here's what's really important. Two cool guys will let you hear great songs of various genres right here, right now. And we're doing it all for you guys, two guys. Some great acting and great songs are all here on Men and Music. Sup, bruh? Hello, hello. I got this hat to look good for you. It looks, what does that say? Nasty funk? I think so. Ooh, nasty funk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So, how have you been? Um, I've, I've been just very busy. Your skin looks country. good. Oh, thank you. I've always, I always noticed that. You have good skin. Thank you. I don't think I've ever seen you with like, acne. Maybe it's because you're getting older, so you're past the acne phase. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked him if he's crazy or not. Yeah, but yeah. Because yeah. I think I heard after like 27 or 28, you stopped getting acne. Yeah, in a, in a few months. I'm hitting 30. I'm wow. going to be 30 years old. What are you going to do for your. Oh, hi! Hi! I'm going to be um 30 in a few months. Wow, so what are you going to do when you're 30? When I'm 30, what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to be right next to you doing this radio. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sure, I, should, I, I could I could recommend you a retirement home if you want. <laughs> yeah, I should retire when I hit thirty. That would that that would be weird. I bet that would not be a good feeling. Yeah, I feel that like. would suck. You, you, that's when you grind at thirty. Yeah, your life starts at thirty. I think so. Yeah. So I'm still like unborn. How's your week? It was good. I uh, you know my hair is kind of shorter now. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, you know we're preparing for a lot of secret stuff. Secret stuff. Secret stuff. Secret stuff. Yeah. The B.I.G. stuff. The B.I.G. stuff. Uh-huh. Not B.N.G. stuff. Okay. B.I.G. stuff. <laughs> Alright, so you know that's how I introduce myself in the punks and group sometimes. Really? In the broadcast stations, you're supposed to, you know, uh, you introduce yourself and you say your group name. So uh-huh. it's not, you know, 안녕하세요, it's 안녕하세요, B.I.G.입니다. Hi, we're B.I.G. Uh-huh. So like, as a joke, uh-huh. I was like, 안녕하세요, B.N.G.입니다. 안녕하세요, B.N.G.입니다. <laughs> and then my members caught on to that. Because like, 안녕하세요, B.N.G.입니다. That's how it came out. Wow. Yeah, man. I hope your managers catch you doing that. Yeah, I hope not. Mm-hmm. That's how you uh, say hi to girls. <laughs> Alright, so that's how y'all... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, you know, you were a little sick last week. Uh, I feel like you're a lot better now. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe you just needed to um, pass gas after getting the appendectomy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy because um, I think a day after I got my appendectomy, um, appendectomy, I, um, I had to get on the plane. Uh-huh. So I never had a chance to pass yeah. gas. And then when I go to China, I usually can't eat that well because yeah, I'm it's, still getting used to the yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just, I have crazy recording schedules. Yeah. I couldn't eat, so I couldn't pass the gas. <gasps> and then it got to my, it, like, it became a stomach, it became serious. Wow. I was dying for like a week. So, what did you do? Bong bong, pangu to gas. I had you to pass some gas. You know, that actually happens. I, uh, I had a, a very similar thing. I was doing filming mm-hmm. for a program, and mm-hmm. we had to eat the bandagi or the silkworms that yeah, they have yeah. in Korea. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's a program, so you have to like make it interesting. So, we Can made, you just like, call it bandagi, not silkworms. Okay, bandagi. Oh, sorry. Silk, if you call it silkworms. Do you eat it? Oh. Oh, I love bandagi. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, like bandagi tang, the, the stupid oh, yeah. stuff. And so we made like honey butter bandagi. And like we put bandagi on oh, rice. Okay. And then I got a stomachache during filming. I don't know. And then I went to the the hospital because I kept, you know. Really? I, I, it was That's that crazy. bad. Like I had to, because yeah. I couldn't move at all. And then he said it was filled with gas. And so I was like, so yo, what do I got to do? Like, what mm. do I got to take to make it? Yeah. And then he's like, you just need to pass it through. 
Yeah, so I, I just have to wait. You just I just have wait. to eat, eat a lot and then just, just wait, 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 and then it pushes it out. Oh, wait for yeah. it to pass. Okay, we gotta stop talking about <laughs> farting. Yeah. Okay. We're, we have uh, sort of. All right. So I heard you're really busy these days. Yeah. So I you know, know uh, you got some stuff planned up for uh-huh. the future. Um. Well, we have two new artists coming out yeah. with their albums pretty soon. I think the promotions are gonna start in a couple of days, so I'm kind of excited for that. Um. I have a. Well, I've couple of groups coming out from China. Oh, yeah. And their albums are coming out soon, too. And I wrote all their songs and I produced them. So they're my babies. And I'm just waiting for everything to be set and just be released. So. And then after that passes by, I'm going to release my full album. Ooh. Ooh. When you're 30. Featuring Benji. Oh, yeah. Uh, really? I don't know. What's really? happening with that song that we're doing together? Shh. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You, smart person. <laughs> all right. So... Um, anyway, so now it looks like we're going to see Sam's babies uh-huh. uh, starting to come out little by little. I can't wait until B.I.G.'s album. I'm, I'm really kind of um, looking forward to it because now that I know you and... I, th- I don't know no, how to respond to that. They have to know that the musical talent that you have is not just there with B.I.G., you know? There's, there needs to be more music that could express a little more about Benji. So. It's a work of progress. It's a work of love, yeah. like pizza. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, that doesn't make sense. All right, so uh, we decided to do another round of this music battle with three wins instead of five, mm-hmm. because three is a little bit more, I think, you know, chokdang or it's it's more uh, good. Mm-hmm. Gosh, I'm so bad at English now. And so uh, this week we'll find out who wins. I'm gonna win. Mm, we'll see. All the time. No. All day. No. What up? Yeah, do all this. I do is <laughs> get right into the corner. So I'll go ahead and introduce the topic for today. The topic is cleaning. Cleaning. So I we've mentioned this on radio a couple times. You know, yeah. cleanliness. You're a very clean person. I I kind of am. Yeah. Sort of. Kind of too serious about it too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, look at your shirt, man. You ironed this shirt, didn't you? Well, the cleaners did. Oh, oh yeah. you you clean your shirts. I don't send my shirts to the cleaners. Oh, I send my shirts. To the cleaners. I haven't washed this shirt for three months. Stop lying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three months. <laughs> All right, but, uh, you know, there's people who hate cleaning like me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, for you, there's people who are super clean. I actually cleaned my room yesterday. Oh, wow. It took me 30 minutes. Wow. Is that a long time? I don't know. How long does it take you to clean your room? Probably the whole day on a weekend. Really? Yeah. What, what do you do? Because you're normally clean, so what's there to clean? You go to the bathroom first, and you spray it down with bleach, and yes. then you let the bleach soak into the tile. Yes. And then while it soaks in, you go and what? You clean out the whole house. And after you clean out the whole house, you're like, oh, it looks clean. Now you have to take a shower. So you go in to take a shower, and before you take a shower, you scrub down the whole bathroom. Uh huh. And then you come out after the shower, the room is clean, you sit and chill. And that takes the whole day? No. Yeah. A couple of... Maybe it's because yeah. I only cleaned up my bed area. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I go... I do, like, crazy cleaning. Like, you go into the nooks and crannies, yeah. getting all the crevices and corners. Yeah. Wow. If I don't... Yeah, that's why I don't let other people clean my house. You would, I think, make a very good husband. Or a very bad, bad uncomfortable husband. husband. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It Probably. depends on how clean the girl is. Yeah. Hopefully. No, but we we want to get married to clean. If, if she's very clean, I think we'll be a good tag Yeah, team. I think so. Yeah, but if she's not, oh, it's going to be What a if problem. she, like, eats donuts in the bed? She's, like, really, like, crumbly. As long as there's no crumbs like on the bed. Like, there's crumbs on the pillow. Then I'm going to kick her off the bed and be like, there you <laughs> sleep on the floor. I'm sleeping on the bed. <laughs> All right. So, there's two different meanings to cleaning. Mm-hmm. One is physically cleaning. Mm-hmm. So, you know, literally cleaning up a place. But there's also cleaning your memory. Yeah. So I guess kind of, uh, you know, not quite forgetting things, but kind of, you know, going out, organizing, you know, your thoughts and stuff. So, yeah. uh, you know, I feel like for you, you, you'd you have to do that a lot because you're doing all this stuff all the time. Every night. So you're always organizing, you yeah. know, the next day I need to do this, then mm-hmm. I have to, you know, fly here and do this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, well, I don't kind of organize. I just, I kind of be like, I need the energy to do whatever I need to mm-hmm. do tomorrow. And it's like organize, organize, organize in my head and fall asleep every night. And then you got it, like, you're ready. Mm-hmm. Like, you've planned everything out. Yeah. Kind of like radio. Yeah. I kind of split it up to, like, music and business. Mm. It's like the music Sam and the business Sam. Where's the, where's the pleasure Sam? I don't think there's a pleasure Sam right now. <gasps> it's just the music Sam and the business Sam. I'll get you a cake at some point. Uh, <laughs> we'll have cake. You, can, you should gain some weight. <laughs> yeah, I All should. right, so, uh, anyway, Sam, let us know what song you chose as your song that relates to the topic of cleaning. Um... One of my favorite songs, Back mm. in the Day. Back in the Day. Back in the Day, when I was young. Well, I'm still young, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a song by Jay-Z. It's, oh, yeah! It's a song called Dirt Off Your Shoulder. Over. So it's like, when you're when, after you're done cleaning, it's like, get that dirt off your shoulder, you know? Like, yeah. You feel good. Bum, 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 bum. You know, I did the violin for that track. You actually recorded it with Jay-Z? Or? Yeah. Way, I was like, what, like seven? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was pro, man. Okay. I was chilling with Jay-Z. Uh-huh. My, my homie, uh, what's, the, what's the producer's name? Rick Rubin? Yeah, yeah. Rick Rubin, my, yeah. my homie, my homie Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is a classic <laughs> song from way back, uh, I think it's called The Black Album, in yes. 2004, or 2002, I, I believe. No, 2000, 2000, 2004-ish. 2004-ish. Four, sure. And you know, Lucifer is on there. A lot, a lot of people are on there, there, yeah. Right? It's crazy, there's actually a Grey album, did you know about that? I think he has all sorts of albums. Black, no, no, like because there's the uh, the black album which is Jay Z. Mm-hmm. There's the white album which is the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Then there's a guy called DJ Danger Mouse. Oh, who and made a, a gray album, a compilation That's kind crazy. of. That's uh, crazy. What do you call those? Like mixed albums, remix mm-hmm. albums. It's pretty crazy. Check it out. Anyway, so uh, now the song that I chose is uh, you know when it comes to cleaning, cleaning in Korean is Chongso. Chongso. And then so I literally went literal with this and I chose the song Chongso by The Ray. Mm-hmm. It's it's a song about cleaning and uh, it's actually a love song mm-hmm. about how even after you've gone and you've left me I can't even clean you know your hair off the pillow I can't clean your scent off the blankets kind of that's sad it's romantic it is romantic is it romantic I think it's just sad it's kind of creepy actually yeah, yeah it sucks you know <laughs> you have somebody's hair on your bed and you can't forget about that person like, you can't throw out that hair <laughs> anyway so we're gonna get check out those two songs before we come back so we'll check out the song Chung So by The Ray followed by Dirt Off Your Shoulder by Jay Z. Sir Chungso by the Ray, followed by Dirt Off Your Shoulder by Jay Z. Get that dirt. That's my homie. I played violin <laughs> on this track. <laughs> uh, that's my that's my dude, man. That's my cuz right there, cuz. You know what I'm saying? So Benji's calling Jay Z his cuz. My cuz, man. My cuz. <laughs> my cuz. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got some messages coming in from people. Uh, we got Emily Yang from the USA saying Benji and Sam's laughs are too adorable. Please <laughs> laugh more often. <laughs> Please laugh more often. Ha ha ha. Emmy. Myself from Philippines. Hello, Semupa. How are you feeling now? I miss you. <laughs> I hope you're fully recovering now. Take care always and be healthy, okay? I feel great. Um, I'm happy. I, I'm just busy, but I'm happy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, Asia from Bulgaria saying hello, hello, cute DJ Benji and Semupa. Hello. Well, it's been a long, long time since I last tuned to Music Access because of my busy university schedule. Miss you guys. Even now in 30 minutes, I have an anatomy lecture. Hol. Hope both of you are doing good and taking care of yourselves. Gonna try to tune in more often because I miss your energetic voice, Benji. And Sam, Opa, please take care of your health, okay? And smile more. Smile. Have an awesome Tuesday, everybody. With love, Asia. What was that last thing? What was that breath? Anatomy lecture, man. Yeah. I, I just read it and I was like, anatomy lecture. Oh. Have you ever taken, have you ever done an anatomy? anatomy are you kidding me? What, anatomy? The closest thing school? to anatomy I get to was what? Grey's Anatomy, I think. You watched Grey's Anatomy? No, I mean, just like. Really? Really? I didn't know you were that kind of guy, no, man. I mean, you know, I don't I, watch Grey's Anatomy. No, 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 I get it, I get it. Okay, we go, we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go. All right, so. I watch Grey's Anatomy. Yes, congratulations. I love Grey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love Dr. Grey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, to two songs we just listened to were songs we selected based on today's theme of cleaning. Chong Zhou, Chong Zhou. Yeah, so we'll get started on Sam and Benji's music selection battle. We're going to act out a short skit related to today's topic of cleaning, and Sam and I will choose a song which fits the scene from the skit, and our producer or PD Neem will choose which song fits the situation better. <laughs> Are you ready to act? Let's do this. All right, can we get the OST, please? Wait, wait, wait. Th- th- there was 
a guitar here. I just saw it yesterday. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Guitar, what are you doing under the bed? Sam, can you give me back my laptop? You oh borrowed it yesterday. I needed to do my homework. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Wait, wait. Oh, the laptop. Hold on. You were here at my desk yesterday. Where did you go? Um, laptop? Please come back, laptop. Sam, you still haven't found it yet? I need it right now. Oh, let me look for it with you. Hey, wait, why is my laptop in your laundry basket? Ew, it's gonna smell like your socks. Ew, oh my god, gross. Oh, it's in my laundry basket? Why is it in the laundry basket? Wait, this calls for some major spring cleaning. Wait, Bongji, don't leave. Stay and help me clean, please. Help me clean. Uh, uh. <coughs> okay, okay. You. Yeah, I mean, I keep sneezing because of all this dust, and I guess you'll die if you keep inhaling all this stuff. You won't die. Let's do it right now. <coughs> oh my god! Oh, but there's a sandwich rotting in your desk. What? What should I do with this? What do you mean? What should you do? Throw it away. That's ew. Rotting <gasps> oh sandwich. God. Oh my god! There's a mouse! There's a mouse! What? Where? Ah! Well, hold on. Don't worry. I'll save you. Wait. Ah! Oh my god! It's a mouse! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm just kidding. It wasn't a mouse. It was a dust ball that looked like a mouse. What should I do with it? What do you mean? What should you do? You gotta throw it away. Ew. I mean, There's a lot of bugs in your dried flowers. Dried Why do you flowers? even have dried flowers? <laughs> what should I do with it? Stop asking me. What do you mean? What should you do? Throw it away. But isn't this the bear from your old girlfriend? Why is, why is it all stained though? <laughs> Did you dye it? What should I do with it? <sighs> Bongji, what do you mean? What should you do? Throw it away. Throw it all away. Throw everything away. Just throw it all away. Spring cleaning. Do you think they threw it so much away? Your room looks so empty now. Oh, I feel so clean though. Thanks, little sister. No problem. I'm hungry though. Okay, let me buy you something delicious. I have some emergency money hidden in my encyclopedia. Hold on. Where's my encyclopedia? I hid the money there. What? Did, did you say encyclopedia? I threw it away, remember? You threw out the encyclopedia? Three years worth of savings are in there. What? Three years worth of savings? Oh. The trash collectors are taking away our trash. We have to go get it now. Bongji, I'm going to go get it right now. If I don't make it back, just think I passed out from the smell of the garbage truck. I'll be back. Okay, good luck. Oh, the smell. What was I thinking throwing my hard-earned money? I can't believe I threw it away. I have to find it. I'll find it no matter what. So... The situation is, you threw away a book with emergency money hidden inside while cleaning. So, uh, have you ever done this before? You know, thrown away something really important while you were cleaning? Oh, yes. All the time. Well, like, for an example, what's it? For an example, um, I saw four batteries. Mm -hmm. It was like a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. I saw four batteries. Mm -hmm. And they, were, they weren't in the box. They mm -hmm. were just, like, just li laying batteries. around, right? And probably one of them could have been... New, uh -huh. but I was just like, oh, da -da, and I just threw it away. Yeah, I was sitting in front of my television. I was trying to turn the television on. Oh, oh yeah, what I'm saying, my remote stopped. It, it won't work. Yeah. I was like, oh, you took those out to put them in. Yeah. Ah. I was like, man, if I was just a little bit more careful. That's true. You should be more careful. I'm disappointed in you. I'm very Benji. disappointed in you, Benji. You yeah. should be more careful. Why? I'm not gonna say it. I, no. I don't want to hurt you, Benji. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Go ahead. You can break. No, it. your fans. I don't want to break your fans' hearts. What if you break my fans' hearts? There's nothing. To... You have to be careful of all the stuff you do at night. What are you talking what about? What do you mean? On the Sam, weekend. you're the one who calls Benji. me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, we, right. we just play. We just play. Okay. But uh, you know, three years worth of savings though. That's so much. Have you saved up money for three years before? I have not saved up three money. Three money? <laughs> three, money <laughs> three money years? I've never saved up money for three years. Well, I mean, I've saved money continuously over time. Mm -hmm. But I haven't, like, stored three years worth of savings in, like, a book. Yeah, that's crazy, Speaking though. Speaking of which, if it fits in an encyclopedia, it's probably not that much. My manager, our director, actually, a long time ago when we used to work together, mm -hmm. he saved up money in, like, a garbage, like, a small garbage can. Like... I think it was like thirty, forty thousand dollars. Wow! I was like, "Go get a bank account." Put yeah, that I mean, bank account. He's like, "No, I like cash." Well, that's true. Cash yeah. is cash is cool. But right? after it got too big, he went and got a bank account. I, good. Mm -hmm. So you know, anything? Nothing got lost in transaction. No. 
Okay. Maybe I took like fifty, sixty dollars from his little. Did you hear? <laughs> he, he, he took some money from me, man. All right, so uh, we have win. to we have to go to our final music selection battle. They're so Sam, me. what is your song of choice? Yeah, you go first. You go first. This is important for my explanation. You go first. No, 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 no. Age before beauty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the song I chose was um, you know when um, when you when you lose something and you try to <laughs> look for it for such a long time, P D N E, when you try to look for it for such a long time, like you know when you lose it, you have to just forget about it. You know, you can't keep looking for it. Oh yeah. So I picked the song by um, Yoon Do Hyun. Yoon Do Hyun. Y Band. Y B. Um, it's a song called Lee Jae Yeah, yeah. Well, he talks about how he wants to forget about mm-hmm. his girlfriend and forget about his lost love. But I'm like, come on, let's forget about the lost stuff and then stop saving up time and then move on. Yeah, let's forget about three years worth of savings, right? Three years worth of savings. You know, any guy, if he saved up three years worth of savings, that's <clears> over <throat> a thousand days of work that I put in. That's in the garbage can. And look, 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 in the script it says, it's, it's you know, she just threw it out and they're taking away the trash, which means if he runs, he should still be able to get it. So the song that I chose for the music battle selection was Till I Collapse by Eminem because when it comes to three years worth of savings, for me, I don't know, maybe from a, you know, an Ajashi's perspective, it's different. But from a young hustler's perspective, I gotta run Till I Collapse to get that money back. You know what I'm saying? Oh All right, so... Now that you our, have to forget about now it. Now that our Pidinim has turned the music selection off, Sam and I, it's time to select the winner of our battle. And drumroll, please... The winner of our battle tour today is... Yeah! We're gonna hear Till I Collapse by Eminem and be right back. You got pwned, noob! Till I collapse, I'm spilling these raps long as you feel them. Cause Sam can't do a win against me unless I'm trying to kill him. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, kill him. Hi, um, I'm sorry. I picked the wrong song today. You know what? I think you're just bad at explaining. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so of course we have I to hear... I can't believe I lost. We have to hear why our opinion even selected the song. The winner. And he said, I'm broke these days. Money is everything and I can't forget about money. I got that money Money, flow. money, money, money. I can't believe I lost. And we have some uh, quick messages. Uh-huh. We'll do them kind of quick. Uh-huh. You need a swing from Indonesia saying, LOL, Bongji, your role for today is your imaginary girlfriend, Benji. LOL, you guys never fail to make me laugh. Samantha from Australia. Good day, Benji and Sam. This is the best acting ever. Ever. You two should be in a K-drama. Yes. Darn, Sam. You need to hide your money in a better place. <laughs> LOL, Benji, your curly voice is absolutely fabulous. Emily Yang saying to the talented actors, OMG, I love both of your acting. Haha, <laughs> Benji, Opa, scream. Scream again in the girly voice. No. <laughs> LOL, I'm cracking up. I feel like dying. You're both so talented. Leon Teo from Singapore. Both your acting are gr- getting so good. Getting more natural every week and not so awkward anymore. Sam looks good today. Dikti says she loves your hairstyle. Thank you, Dikti. Hi. <laughs> Hi, she's outside the studio right now, in the studio. What's up, guys? All right, so it's time for us to wrap things up. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, Sam, anything else you want to say before you go? It sucks. I lost today. All right, so, uh- <laughs> Sam, we're going to check out the song Call Me by Sam featuring Pac-1, and I'll see you next week. Peace. Bye-bye. We just heard Column Me by Sam featuring Pac-1, and it's time to continue and reveal the answer for our AA music quiz from the first hour. What is the answer? The answer is Monster X. Sorry about that ring. And let's see how many people amazingly got the correct answer today. The first 
correct answer is Mylene from the USA, Rusi from Indonesia, Shreya Talukta from Bangladesh, Maud from Thailand, Tony from Italy, and Emily Yang from the USA saying Monster by Big Bang plus X equals Monster X. That's right. Congratulations to everyone who got the answer right in today's Double A Music Quiz. Again, of course, we're going to have another awesome one and hint tomorrow as well, so stick around for that. Now, let's share some more messages sent into us by our listeners with Message Time. And our first message comes from Nuri Lee from Qatar, saying my first time writing to you guys. Hi and hello. Haha, <laughs> I have a friend who's in the studio now. I, I don't know if she's still here. Saying, hi, Tikti, my baby. Please be good to her. Tikti, you, if you're still in the Adidas building, um, Nuri Lee says hi. And uh, she says, be good to you. So I guess if I see you, I'll be really nice to you. Although, um, she seems to have currently left the premises or the viewing area of my studio. So she, wherever she may be, hopefully we'll see her soon. We have Sapphire from the USA saying, Hello Benji, it's been a while. I introduced Music Access to my roommate and I explained who you are and she told me that your voice is soothing and sexy. Yeah, interestingly enough, you know, I might as well bring this up while we're talking about uh, vocal tone. When I speak English, this is my normal voice. But then when I speak Korean, it goes to about a tone or two higher. So, uh, you know, I'm actually working on finding a good balance for that. So I don't, you know, sound super high when I'm speaking Korean or I don't sound super, you know, forcing it when I'm low, like when I speak English. But tell your roommate, thank you, and tell her to tune in and send in a message to Music Access so I can say hi to her personally. And we have Desiree from the USA saying, Now is around the time of year when you might step outside and think, Wow, something smells terrible, and that's probably the smell of ginkgo fruits which are falling this time of year. It's one of my favorite plants because it has an interesting history and ecology, and it's a living fossil. The roasted seeds are really delicious too. They get all crispy and caramelized, and they're supposed to make you smarter. I collected some yesterday, and it was smelly and awesome, which is just like when I take a shower. Smelly and awesome. Alright, so we're going to continue on. But first of all, thank you everyone for sending in your messages to Message Time. Continue to send more and more and more messages. And don't f forget to always write in for our new corner, Me, You. And now we'll check out two songs requested by our listeners now. Starting with a song that Aaron Johnson of the USA recommends, Chungdok Overdose by EXO. And Unita Sweeney of Indonesia requested the song, Soan Wish by TVXQ. Time to say goodbye. Our last song for today is Kiss Me Quick by Nathan Sykes. This was Benji of B.I.G. And as always, I'll be back.